Hey everybody, Acebeck here, and this is the Amazon Eero. It is basically a device you use in place of your traditional router. It creates its own Wi-Fi network, and then you can join it with other devices. If you've ever heard the term mesh Wi-Fi network, this is what this is. It's a multi-device Wi-Fi system where... Because we have such terrible internet, or we used to have such terrible internet at my grandma and grandpa's house, we chose to try to use this because we thought it would help. We thought it would help a lot. So we just set up this one, and I'm just trying to check its connection to the internet right now. So the setup is pretty simple. I just unplugged the existing Netgear router. We had a Netgear Nighthawk router and this is just functioning as a, as a Wi-Fi router for now so you plug the you turn this modem off you unplug it from power you connect the two network cables the blue one was going to our PC the yellow one is going right to the modem and then what you do is there's an app you can download on the Google Play Store or the and the Apple App Store and you plug that in and you open the app and what it does is it connects, it registers your Eero with the Amazon, Amazon servers. And you can name the network whatever you want. You can change the password. So we just plugged in this other one. And what it's telling us now is it has to understand our home. So it's asking us what shape is our home and how many floors does it have? So, would you consider this a square house or a long house? Long. Long. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to set floors to... Three. Three? Oh, two. Two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Two. Okay. All right. So, now we're going to hit next on this. And if I if we have a dead spot, try to place our ear devices between the dead spot and another ear device. So it's telling us we need to distribute our Evo mm -hmm. Eero devices pretty evenly. Mm -hmm. And let's go to the next tip. Should we go plug the other one in too? Place your devices up on the open out on the open, upright and on hard surfaces to maximize Wi Fi performance. Away from things like TVs. Oh, away from the TV, so now i got to figure out a better place to put that, huh? Metal objects can block signals. <sighs> Where would I put it? Where have we just found a new location Where for it? Right uh, I don't know. No? The the cable would have to go all the way across there. Yeah, which would and be then, kind well, of... I'd have to hook it up to the um, power strip. The power or strip. you could hook it with the, the, power, yeah, strip. the power strip. Is, um, I don't have any power in this one. So we need to hit next in the app before we put our third one in. Okay. So next, and it's looking for... So based on the maximum of the first one, it sort of takes a while to do this, so I'll just make sure her telephone or her TV gets good. Yeah, we could do that actually. Yeah. Could put our third one in grandma's room. Yeah, put a third and I can get another one put upstairs later. Yeah, you could. If you put one there, you'd have good reception in your room because it's going to be right up, you're right upstairs from grandma. Yeah, they're not, those, these devices are not very expensive. No. What did we pay for our one one? Uh, fifty dollars, I think. Yeah. All right. They're now they're gonna do a test where it's looking for. Oh wait. We shouldn't have done that because we didn't I haven't plugged in our second one yet. That's what I thought. Right. Good connection. Good connection. Okay. We could try moving it to get a better connection. It says it has a good connection. A good connection, but it could be better. 
you can try moving it to improve. If it's got a good connection, I'm fine. Yeah. So I, I just set the, set the third one up Where? upstairs because I have my little setup in my bedroom for my surface. Because given in the times we live in now, I don't have school traditionally, so I have to do this all over Zoom converse, conferencing. So with the pandemic going around, um, I need a good internet connection to avoid dropouts on my end as far as video and audio. Because in my experience with our previous network, I've always gotten warnings saying your network bandwidth is low. And everybody sounds like a robot when a lot of people are trying to talk at the same time. I know that's sometimes a common occurrence with video conferencing given the technology that they use, but this was just getting unbearable with the amount of dropouts I had. So I'm hoping this mesh Wi-Fi network is going to improve things. And I have a conference call next Monday for my advisory. So I'm going to see if, how well it works there. So that was just a little video on how to set up and configure in my experience of setting up the Eero, Amazon Eero mesh Wi-Fi network system. If you have any questions about the system or anything else you'd like me to review, just drop me a, drop me a comment. And this is Acebeck signing out.